hi everyone hope you're all good welcome back to my channel today i thought i would film a like a day in the life of like a third year student because i'm actually going into uni today i only go into uni for two hours a week um all my other classes are online yeah so i only have uni actual like face-to-face -face uni for two hours a week and um, which is on thursday which is the day i'm filming this yeah all my other lessons are online um but i thought i would film a little day in the life with me today because i'm actually going into uni today i'm actually doing something exciting so i think it's currently about like quarter past 12 i have uni at one and we normally leave like half an hour before it's literally like a 10 minute walk but um we just normally leave like half an hour like sometimes we get like a coffee or like it's just nice to be early like i personally like to be early to like everything so yeah we leave about half an hour before our uni like actually starts it's such a nice day today it's like the 14th of october i think this month has been so nice for the weather like every time i've gone out i've worn like a, my big like leather jacket i don't know if you can see it but like i've got like um like a big black leather jacket from this guy did and i just wear that out like all the time because i feel like it just goes with everything but um the past few days i've had to take it off like walking through town because it just gets so like it just gets so warm yeah so i just thought i'd film my day today i don't actually know if we're doing anything exciting after uni um sometimes we go into town sometimes we go and like get like a drink in town or something or um we normally go and like do some work in town as well we've been doing that a lot i feel like i live like in a flat and my my room's like a really really nice size sometimes i feel like i just can't do work in here like i need to like physically go out and do work and then come back and chill sometimes i find it really hard to just sit at my desk and work i feel like i was quite good at it last year but um this year i just feel so much better going out doing my work and then coming back and putting it away i think i'll talk a little bit later about the actual work that i have to do um, if anyone is interested but I found it really interesting to watch people that were doing my course um, in like a few years above me so I can kind of see what I have to do if that makes sense so yeah I'll talk a little bit more about my third year modules and stuff later I also want to go into town later because I think I want to get a gilet um, I keep seeing them everywhere and like I said like the weather is so nice um, it's just not like cold enough to wear like a proper big jacket um, and I feel like all my t-shirts are like this, like nice, like long, like black, like bodysuits and stuff. And I just don't need a big jacket to go with it. So I really want to go into town and have a look for them. I feel like H&M and Zara have really good um, choices for that. So I always take you along with me. And then later on, I'm just going to make a nice dinner. I really fancy going out. Like I really, not out, out. Like I just, re I really want to go somewhere tonight. So I might ask the girls if they want to do anything. And then of course, like I will take you along with me. Yeah, I'm actually going home this weekend as well. My family are going on holiday and I'm really jealous that I can't go. Um, so I'm just going home to like house it and like look after my dog and stuff. Yeah, so I'm just going home to like look after my dog and stuff. But I feel like compared to last year, I feel like I've really like properly settled in here this year ever since i started like my foundation year i always like went home literally all the time but i feel like this year i just feel so different like i could literally stay here till like christmas if i really wanted to that's the thing about uni the time goes so fast i think i've been here for like three and a half weeks already and it literally feels like i moved in like last week like it goes so quickly so yeah i'm going home this weekend which will be nice um yeah so that is the plan today i need to leave for uni in like five minutes today we have fmp work basically all about like our final major project because our course is really creative basically our fmp is like we make our own brief i think i'm gonna do a beauty brand that are gonna make a campaign all about women's safety because i just feel like that's been like really prominent in the news and stuff like in the media and everything at the minute like create an app create a social media presence all about that i feel like that's what i i think that's what i'm gonna do i haven't really had any other ideas and i feel like that's one that's like really stuck in my mind so i think i'm gonna do that I have four minutes until I need to leave, so I'm gonna get changed. I'm just gonna wear this and I'm just gonna put some jeans on. I found the comfiest jeans from Pretty Little Thing, but it's so weird because when I first got them, they were a little bit tight, and now I've like worn them and like washed them a few times. They fit me so nicely now. I'll show you what um, they are when I've got them on. That is my plan for today. I've got uni one till three. I'm gonna go to town after because I really want a new, like, um, gilet, like, jacket kind of thing. And then I'm going to come back, probably do a little bit of work, but maybe not. 
I'll see. And then I'm gonna make dinner, and then I'll talk to you a little bit more later about my modules and stuff that I'm doing. Yeah, so that is the plan for today. But yeah, I will probably catch up with you a bit later when I'm either back from uni or in uni. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so these are the jeans. Um, they're from Pretty Little Thing, and I have had to like, my mum had to like sew like the bottoms of them up because they were really, really long. Um, but I'm just wearing it with this like black bodysuit but honestly they're the nicest jeans ever i will link them down below i just think they fit really nicely like they're not too long well they're not now because i had to like pull them up but they just yeah they fit really nicely at the start they didn't but now they do like i don't really know what i've done <laughs> yeah, i'm just wearing this black bodysuit as well and then i've just got like my bag that i just keep on my laptop in and stuff and then i've just got my new balance on as well these are honestly my favorite shoe in the whole wide world so I'm back in my room now. I feel like the last clip we saw was me still in my room. So it looks like I haven't actually gone anywhere. It is half five. I got back at about 20 past three. I didn't end up going into town in the end because Lucy was actually going home and she had to get the train. So we literally just like ran back, ooh, ran back home. So she could like sort herself out and then she could get her train. So I was going to go to town and that was the full intention. But in the end, I didn't go to town. Um, probably for the best because I don't actually need to be spending any money. Like, I don't know how much money I think I have. Yeah, so since I got back, hello. Yeah, so since I got back, I um, made some lunch. I had halloumi wraps, which was very nice. I was going to film them but i literally i was starving like we had uni one till three and i feel like that's like bang in the middle of like when you would eat lunch um so i was starving when i got back so i literally like ran back like made them said bye to lucy and then i've just been chilling in my room basically i haven't really been doing that much i've just like tidied my room a little bit but i thought i would give you a little room tour because i haven't actually shown you my room yet like i've like made it like really nice and like i put all my pictures up and stuff but i thought i would give you like a little mini room tour and i will talk you through like everything i've done like in my room to kind of like make it like more homely and stuff so i will show you that now okay so this is the front this is like my door um this is like where i hang like all my coats and my bags and stuff up and then this is my bathroom i won't show you my bathroom because i don't think it's that tidy at the minute um but my bathroom is in this door here and then this is like what the rest of the room looks like. They're just like bags that I need to take down to the bins actually. So please ignore them. But this is like what you can see from my front door. Um, I've just got like my wardrobe in here. I've just got like a few bits and bobs in there. Nothing that exciting. And then this is the rest of my room. So I've got like my little pin board. I've basically put... Um, wallpaper over it i got it from wilco it was like honestly like four or five pounds because the background of the pin boards are like blue um i'd really recommend like if you are staying where i'm living at the minute getting like some wallpaper and pin over the little like there's some there there and then there as well it just it just makes everything so much more fresh and like clean looking i think and then it matches your bedding as well because i think when I first moved here like two years ago, I just kept my board blue and it just looked so weird. Like every time I came in my room, I just felt like something was missing. Like something looked really weird. So yeah, I'm really glad that I decided to put some wallpaper on this board. And then I've just got like a little thing. I've got some cups I actually need to take out to the kitchen. Um, and then I've just got my bed. This bedding is from Debenhams, I think. But I got it like two years ago when I first moved when I moved into my first year I think and it's like reversible so it's like double sided it's just really cute like pink colour and I think it goes really nicely with the room like it just adds like a little bit of like extra colour to the room and um, yeah and then I've got all my pictures up here and then I've just got like my desk area please ignore all the rubbish that I need to take out but I've just got like my telly I've just got friends on I've been honestly loving friends at the minute I'm li I've literally got through it so quickly I think this is like season six like in the in the middle of season six i think i can't remember um but it's just so nice and like just nice to put on the background like you don't have to pay that much attention um and then up here i've just got like some perfumes my my camera and then just like this little hanging plant this is from ikea i literally got this like two years ago i think 
Um, and then when I moved in, like someone actually left me this. But I think it's such a good idea because I just keep my keys here and then I never forget my keys. Because I can always, like, they're always in view. That makes sense. I can always see them so I never forget to bring them out with me. And then I've just got, like, my little box of things that I use every day. I've just got some more pictures. Um, yeah, and then I've just got, like, a little mirror there. This candle was so nice. I got it from Primark. I kind of need to get rid of it now, but, um... <laughs> It was honestly so, so nice. If any of your Primarks have this in it, I'd really recommend it. It just smells really nice and like fresh and clean. Um, and then over here, I've just got like a little diffuser. It's the same scent as the candle. So it just smells really nice. I don't know what, yeah, of lilac and amber. It's just a really nice, like sweet smelling diffuser. And you can really smell it when you come in. You're like, you know, some diffusers don't actually smell that strong. I feel like this one is really, quite strong which is nice and then i've just got my mirror on the side of the wall and this thing is like a little radiator so just move it like up and down and i've just put some fairy lights around it as well so like fairy lights make the room look so much nicer and then this is what you can see from this side of my room yeah so that is my little uni room tour um i feel like my past years i put so much more effort into my room this year like i don't really get anything new for it i just kind of bought everything back that I had from like previous years and just like put it into this one. But yeah, I do really like my room. Obviously like I've lived in the same like building or like company for like three years. Um, I do like living here. The only thing is like it gets so noisy and I feel like I'm a really light sleeper. So I just, I literally hear everything that goes on like outside and the fire alarms as well. Like if you're thinking of living here, like the fire alarms go off all the time and it's so annoying i feel like we've been really lucky though like this year they honestly haven't um but i remember last year and the year before we used to have to go outside at like 4 a.m because the fire alarms were going off or like someone burnt toast and the fire alarm went off we've actually been all right this year um so yeah i honestly don't have any other plans for the rest of the day i know i said like i'd ask the girls um, if we could go out but Anya is working until like nine and Lucy's gone home yeah so it's just me and Ellie in the flat tonight and I know Ellie has a lot of work to do so um I think we're just gonna leave her to it but yeah I'm gonna have a nice little dinner later I will take you along with me when I go and make that I think I'm just gonna edit a little bit more of this vlog so I can get it up tonight watch some more friends and I should probably do some more work but we'll see but yeah later I will sit down and talk a little bit more about my course actually should i do that now let's do that now okay i've got my laptop up and i will talk to you a little bit about my modules on my course just because i feel like this could be really helpful for people that are like doing my course um that are in like year below or like want to do my course and like kind of want to know what third year is about i'm not gonna lie i'm not finding third year that hard at the minute i feel like it will probably get worse <laughs> as i like go on and like things start to get a little bit more um what's it called like nearer deadlines and stuff but at the minute i'm honestly finding it okay okay so my modules at the minute are my dissertation which is a pretty big deal um my final major project and work-based learning so my dissertation is my dissertation that i have to write um I'm just not a very good writer, like academic writer. I do feel like I'm going to struggle a little bit with that. But um, the main lecturer that is running our dissertation module is, is so nice. And I feel like he's going to help us a lot. So I've got my dissertation to write, which is only 5,000 words. And I, I think we've written half of it already because we wrote a proposal last year. And I'm pretty sure that that counts, I think. I, I could be wrong that's 5,000 words which I know is really good because I know some people's dissertations are like 10,000 um but I think because our course is really um I think because our course is really creative we don't have to write as much I, I don't really know but and um, yeah so that is dissertation and then we have final major project or like FMP and then that's basically where we have to just create our own our own brief like we just come up with our own, um, yeah, we basically like make our own brief of like the work we want to do. So some people like make magazines, but basically this first part of the semester is our research into our FMP and then semester two is our actually making it, if that makes sense. Yeah, so this 
semester is all about research and then next semester is all about actually making it if you're going to make like an actual specific thing if hope that makes sense yeah so that is that and i think i said in another clip about what i'm gonna do some people don't like sharing what they're gonna do but i literally don't i don't mind at all and then the other unit we have is work-based learning and that's basically like placements like work experience and stuff and you basically just have to do 100 hours of placement or like work experience and make like a 2000 word written diary of like your time it's like a reflection like piece of writing um of like your time what happened who did it for how you felt what you did differently all of that stuff and i've basically like i feel like that that is a, an important module but I'm, i don't we don't have as much work for that as we do for the other ones we just need to do 100 hours of like placement or like work experience and then write 2000 words about our our experience on it um i've basically finished that i think i have like 10 hours left to do because i did an internship in april last year and then i made some youtube videos for the uni and that counted towards it which was really good and then i think i have like 10 like 9 10 hours left that i need to do um but i think i've already got that sorted so i just need i just need to like finalize that so yeah that is our semester one of third year i'm not that stressed out yet like my friend my the girls that i live with they do like a fashion media course i think and they're only in second year and they have so much work to do like they're always doing work like me and lucy literally like we'll go out to do work for like a few hours and then come back and like just chill like we don't do as much as them so yeah that is my third year modules for my first semester honestly like getting on with it really well like i'm really enjoying them i haven't started my dissertation yet which i probably should but i don't really know where to start but i feel like because i know it's going to get done and i know i have to do it eventually like i'm not stressed about it yet they are my modules for this semester and they're all due like middle of december time so I don't actually have that much time left to do it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I am getting on fine with it. Like if anyone's worried about like second year to third year being like loads more work, like, I personally don't think it is. Like I'm, I'm personally like getting on like fine with it. Honestly, like it's fine. Like it's honestly not, at that, not actually that bad. I think it just depends on how much effort you put in. Like if you go to your lessons and like do your, do bits of work here and there, like you'll be fine. And it's gonna get done in the end as well so you'll be fine yes yeah, so they are my modules for my first semester in third year yeah, i don't really know what else i have to update you on i just thought that would be really helpful for like anyone that is watching this that is on like second or like first year or like even just starting like my course because i think it's nice to know like what, what is the like common stuff yeah so i'm not really doing anything else now to be honest i think i'm gonna make some dinner later i'm gonna carry on watching friends and so I will probably catch up with you when I am next at making dinner. Okay, so it's 20 past eight. Um, I've just gone to the kitchen. I was gonna film in the kitchen, but Ellie's in there, she's doing some work. Um, I've just put, basically, I'm still so full from my halloumi wraps I had. Um, so I've just put like nuggets in, I only like four left. Um, so I've just put them in and I'm gonna have them with some Nando's medium sauce because oh my God, that is my favorite thing ever at the minute i think i've had it for like on my dinner every single night since i've been here and i've been here for like three weeks i don't know what it is like my mum bought me like um a bottle of it we had some at home but i didn't i, I literally hardly ever used it at home but my mum bought me some um here and honestly it's the best thing ever like the medium nando sauce you can get in like Sainsbury's and Tesco's and stuff. It is honestly so nice. Um, so yeah, I've just put some nuggets in. Um, I did need to pack. I've just packed a little bag. I'm going home this weekend. I don't actually think I've said. Um, but yeah, I'm going home this weekend. Basically, me and my boyfriend are going to like I think it's like a housewarming or like a 
they our friends have been in their flat for like a year um so it just like it tied in really well with like my family going on holiday so i was coming back this weekend for that anyway so yeah that would be really really nice i have so much stuff and i just i don't know what to bring back with me because i know i have stuff at home but like i don't know what like specific things i have at home um so i've just popped in like a few body suits um the black top i got from zara recently just like some t-shirts and like one pair of jeans and like some joggers i think that's what i'll bring and then i'll just wear everything else that i have at home um what else was i gonna say oh my god I started um, Made on Netflix at the beginning of the week and I've already finished it. I cannot tell you how good it was. Like, I feel like I'm gonna butcher it if I try and explain what it's like, what what it's about, sorry. Um, but honestly, I I must have started it on like Monday and I finished it like the next day. Like I stayed up till like half one finishing it to the end. It's insane the acting is amazing the storyline's amazing like it really really makes you think it just is so good um i you know like the little you know when you like you hover over like something that you want to watch and it plays like the little trailer um the trailer doesn't do it any justice because i remember i watched it and then i was like oh like this I, i'm not interested in that and then i saw that nick robinson's in it i really like him and the main the main actress who's in as well is Andy McDowell's, is that how you say her second name? McDowell, I think it is. Her daughter is the main actress and I didn't know they were mother and daughter until I looked it up afterwards. So yeah, honestly, if you're looking for something to watch on Netflix, Made is insane. Like it is so, so good. I really highly recommend that. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna finish this video here now. I'm honestly gonna eat my dinner, pack a few more things, wash my face, take my makeup off and get into bed. <laughs> I get into bed so early at uni, like I feel like cause me and the girls don't go out very often. Um, we like to stay in like, or we'll like go out for drinks and stuff. Or, like last week we went bowling, like that was so fun. I vlogged that, that's on my channel. I feel like cause we don't go out very much, like there's nothing to do. So like we, I just get into bed and I just put like something on and like, in the background like go on my phone like it's really nice just to like chill um but yeah i think i'm gonna end this video here i really hope it wasn't too boring i feel like i haven't done that much today i feel like i've looked like a big greasy mess as well <laughs> yeah i'm literally just gonna have my snack <laughs> my snacky dinner um pack a few more things and then get into bed even though it is nearly half eight but there's nothing else to do so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm really gonna get back into my instagram basically i don't know if i ever said but like someone made this someone made this really like weird account um using one of my pictures it was obviously like a fake account so i had i like removed like loads of my followers and went on private for ages just because like kind of freaked me out a little bit like i just i was just like it was really weird so um but that's that was ages ago than now so i'm really gonna get back into my instagram again i'm really gonna try and get back into my channel because i honestly love it so much like it's just it's so fun and like i want to document as much as i can of my third and final year of uni but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did and also don't forget to follow me on instagram i'll leave my out on the screen so yeah i hope you guys are all good and i will see you in the next one